Hello everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I've got somebody new to introduce to you today. You won't have seen this little one unless you've been following me on Facebook for a while or unless you like the Facebook page, the address of which is at the end of this video. So let me introduce you to a little reborn toddler. This is the Cookie Sculpt by Donna Rupert and her name is Brooke Louise. She's just such a beauty, this little one. She's got such a happy expression. Look up, darling. I don't know what it is with toddlers having slightly floppy heads. Look up, darling. Look up. That's a good girl. Let us see your pretty face. There, that's better. That's better. She's got such a lovely, happy expression. She has blue eyes with the most lovely gold fleck in them. Ellie found such lovely eyes for this one. And she has a, a pretty, pretty face that everyone seems to love. And her mouth is smiling and it's an open mouth. So she can take either a bottle or a spoon, which is good because I'm going to feed her. Yeah, we're going to feed you today, aren't we? Today she's wearing a lovely outfit from Mona Lisa, which I got in a sale. She's wearing uh, a Betty Boop um, leisure suit and they're of white trousers with red piping. It's actually netting. Can you just see that? Down the sides of the trousers. And then it's a grey and white top with Betty Boop in the middle. And look at all the Diamante on here. Isn't it pretty? I've got my hands in the way again, Lulu. Don't touch things when you're describing them, silly girl. And then if you could see, lean forward, Petal. At the back here, there's a big bow. It's so cute. And she's got, I love the netting on the sleeves. She really ought to be wearing something warmer for this time of year. And I will change her. I got some lovely new winter clothes today. And then the other thing is, I'll tell you the story just real quick about her jewellery. She's got this bracelet, which really ought to have her name on it, but doesn't. Which is, it's a silver bracelet and it has a crystal heart on it. And I went to a jewellers to buy this for her. And it was just about my budget limit. I got it for her. And I came back and I said to her daddy, oh, do you know, when I was in the jewels today, I saw this most amazing bracelet. It was pink and silver enamels. It said princess on it. It had the most gorgeous heart charm, but it was solid silver and it cost too much. He said, well, how much did it cost? And I told him and he said, oh, get it for her. Get it for her. She's a beautiful girl. She deserves to have nice things. So I got it for her. And here it is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, I'd actually quite like to get something for Lacey Lou like that. Only I'd like a gold one. Do you think I can find any decent gold jewellery for a little girl? I cannot find anything anywhere. I can find silver. Silver, 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 silver. But I cannot find any decent gold jewellery for a little girl Lacey Lou's age. No way, no how. Nix, nada, notto, squatto, diddly squat, zilch. Cannot find a thing. I found one tiny little gold bracelet for Lacey, which we bought for her birthday. But that was it. Right, before I get my dander up, because it makes me angry, because we got gypped with that bracelet, it was rubbish. Uh, and I paid a lot of money for it too. Let me put Brooke's bib on. In fact, this is the bib that Alfie and Brooke use. And we're going to do a feed, aren't we, honey girl? Are you hungry? Yeah. Actually, Brooke is not real pleased because she doesn't have a Halloween costume. She didn't have a Halloween costume, I should say. But, really, I could only get the the three oldest ones into Halloween costumes. I couldn't get all the babies into them because they aren't cheap. So I just decided to do the three older ones this year. So the little babies were all furious with me because <laughs> they didn't get Halloween costumes this year. There. This bib's a bit roomy for her because she's, although she wears the same clothes size as Alfie, she is a little tiny dot of a thing compared to Alfie. Aren't you, chunky monkey? There you are, my precious girl. 
Now you want to sit right there while mommy makes your food? Oh, sit right there. Good girl. I have the food right here. And this is the same guess how much I love you bowl. And I have... And what do we have here? Oh, we have strawberry. I don't know whether you can see this real good, but I'm just going to scoop it out real quick in a lump. Pop it down that while I get Brooke in situ. Come here, baby girl. Oh, oh careful of your feet. Don't, don't pull on these wires, please. Oh, I forgot to say, she's wearing these amazing silver kinky boots that Auntie Ellie got for her. And she never has these boots off her feet. Now then, has Mummy shot herself in the foot? That was the lid dropping. I don't think so. Let's just see. No, she hasn't. I have no tables or anything real convenient here. Just have to do the best we can, don't we, sweet girl? Now then, I'm gonna have some strawberry. I'm gonna have some strawberry baby pudding. I have to curl my knees up like this when I feed the babies. <laughs> Otherwise, we get in a mess. I'm hoping um, this is an experiment. This is only my second feeding video. I'm really hoping Rhea can see. Because <laughs> I have to... Brooke is so much smaller. I have to kind of support her head like this or she's going to fall right over. Oh! St strawberry Jello is making suspiciously rude noises. There we go. You going to open your mouth? Oh, let's get the bib out of the way. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Here we are. In business. Cooking with gas. Yes, I remember when Brooke first came. It was amazing because she was my first toddler. And she was, after Bert, she was the sort of the next big baby I had. And I remember getting her out of the, whoops, bounced right off mommy's spoon. Where did it go? Let's see. I remember getting it right, uh, getting her out of the box. I didn't go down to Ellie's to get her that day, that time she was sent to me. Oh, where's your head? Where's your mouth? Come here, I need you to turn your head. I haven't fed her in a long time and I keep forgetting how small she is compared to Alfie. Come on, you come to play? Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> I got out of the box. And the first thing I said was, You little fatty. But compared to Alfie, she just feels like a little piece of thistle down. She really does. It's, it's so funny. Come on, Brooke. You gonna have this? Oh, clever girl, clever girl. She's she's just so great. And then I remember taking her out so many times and buying things for her and getting clothes for her, taking her on outings and stuff. And everywhere we went, nearly everybody would come up to me and say, "Oh, that baby is amazing. She's so realistic." And th those were kind of heady days, weren't they, darling? Those are heady days. Good girl. And of course, those were the days when I got my resin baby food and it looked pretty realistic in photo props, but it wasn't like feeding you this. It was just amazing. I love, I love feeding this flame baby food. It's so cool. So, and the, co the cool thing about this is it's, it's the right color even if it is a bit kind of tough to cut up, but it's got the little black seeds in. It's, oh, it's sticking to my fingers. Stop it! It's got the little black seeds. It's so cool. And it smells lush. It smells so strawberry-ish. Isn't that cool? Yeah! Open your mouth. 
What a good girl. What a good girl. You're such a good girl, Brookie. Yes, you are. You're such a Brookie bear. Yes, you are. What a good girl. Okay, well, I'm going to keep on feeding her. And I, will, I won't just yada, yada, yada with nothing to say. So you have a lovely day. And I shall be back soon. In the meantime, take care, everybody. And, you know, have a lovely week. And thank you so much for watching and for your lovely kind comments as always. I really do appreciate them. Don't forget, please do like, subscribe, comment and share because it really makes the channel worthwhile and lets me know that you're engaged because I certainly am. You take care, everybody. One last spoon for Brooke. Good girl. <laughs> okay. Good girl. Bye, everybody.